All right, I think I got my first piece of gold for the day. I'm pretty sure right here. Here we are, another day, another beach. I got Jim over there, I got Brad right behind me, and I saw Ted, another detectorist, walk down here probably about a half an hour ago, so he may have a little bit of a good insight as to how it's going down there. It's, uh, swell has dropped considerably. No, that's Ted, by the way, down there. <laughs> I taught, I taught him his, I taught him our gold signal, and he, uh, he exhibited it a couple times the last couple of days. All right, well, there's Ted. Let's see if he's got anything good. Oh, he's saying nothing good. Kind of inclined to think 10 steak, just by the way it's acting. Okay, should be out. No, all right. Where'd you go? Oh, maybe a quarter actually. 89 right here. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, that was a quarter because there actually was iron in there as well. All right, first target is a quarter. Let's see if I can show that to you in the sunlight. And a reddish, greenish quarter. All right, this. Feels like it's a, a high, legitimate high tone. Could still be iron. 99 is kind of high for a coin. Kind of think it's going to be maybe a 10 stake or something. Oh, I see a 10 stake. There you go. Yep. They are everywhere. There you go, 10 stake. Big hole to fill in. <laughs> All right, I got a grass crew. I was just talking to my friend Ted. And he said he's finding a ton of these too, so. But it sounded great and uh, try to get that out of the, in the sunshine. Give you guys a little look at what we're playing with right now. We do have a cut, pretty good size cut, maybe six, seven feet tall. Got Ted down there. He's uh, been doing real good with the gold the last couple of days. We got Jim there. We got Brad and Dave are both down there. So hopefully, hopefully somebody's gonna be uh, giving the gold signal here pretty quick. This one's a negative 17. All iron. As far as the VDI is concerned. see a little tiny piece of metal right there little bit of copper this one's a negative 19 sounds really good though Thank you. 
should be in here. A little piece of copper maybe. Yeah, a little little copper screw. My buddy Ted said he's got a hardware store full of these right now. <laughs> got a nice negative one here. And it sounds like a low tone. So now it sounds like iron. It is a little piece of lead, tiny, tiny piece of lead. A lot of to tones right here, a lot of targets. Most of them are small, either iron or, or uh, they're either small iron or they're, or they're uh, copper, but But I do believe there's more than four or five little targets in this area. So I'm going to keep digging this little, like I think this is going to be a coin. I think it's going to be a dime right here in that same hole. Yep, there's a dime. So my second coin is a dime. I need a nickel and a penny to make the cycle. multiple there's Teddy's swinging the Excalibur the big old 15 inch coil All right, back to the original hole. I lost whatever that was. I think it was a little piece of copper. It was given a bit of a high tone. I really wish I had the, uh, the, uh, oh, a little bit of silver. All right, got a silver earring. Uh, if I don't drop it. Okay, there you go. That is a tiny, tiny silver earring. Right there see it's all purple and black it's got some green on it as well but yeah it's definitely a silver earring so we'll put that in the uh, the good finds area all right one silver earring I had a viewer comment this morning um, whether I find that iron masks gold, and the answer is 100%. Whatever this is, could be a bobby pin, but it is gonna make me work for it no matter what. Whatever it is, it's being a little bit of a booger. Bring it up to higher ground. Uh, you can see the end of a key. Usually that's what that is, and that sounds really good. Whatever that is, it may not be an end of a key, but it's definitely something, and it sounds great. All right, I think I got my first piece of gold for the day. I'm pretty sure right here, there's a very small gold ring. Yep, tiny gold ring. Look at that. Look how small that is. 
Tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey! That is, they just gave Jim the gold signal. Walk down and show them this little teeny, teeny, teeny gold ring. I see a little tiny fishing weight. So this is the ring hole I got that ring out of. Right on the edge of it, I have a negative 19. That sounds pretty darn good. I was talking to Jim about it too. Anytime you're discriminating at all of your iron, my opinion, you're gonna miss some pretty good stuff. Should be like a little piece of lead or something right here. Seeing what, oh, I think I do see a little piece of metal right there. Just tiniest piece of metal. Look at that. Just kind of small, but sounded, you know, decent. All right, I think I got a zinc penny. It did. It sounded really good. <laughs> Thought it might have been something better, but that means all I need is a nickel for the cycle. All right, well, that is a 22 rifle round right there. That also sounded pretty good. All right, this is bouncing around from a negative three to a seven. Pretty good sounding signal. Sounds small. Oh, what is it? Oh, I think it's a little. It is. It's a little stainless steel nut. This one's a negative three. Doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, now it sounds a little better. Now it's a zero. <laughs> Still down there. Yeah, I think it's out. I think. There's just so much metal, you know, out here, little pieces. I think this one actually is going to be just iron. Pretty sure that's all this is. I think I see a bobby pin. Yep. Uh, bobby pin. They can sound so good. All right, I got a... Sounds like a high-tone coin. I'm not getting a lot of coins, so if I get one that sounds legitimate, there's a lot of the iron targets are giving high tones as well. Let's say copper penny. That's what I think. Yep, it was a copper pin and I threw it out of the scoop. <laughs> there you go. There you go, copper penny. All right, negative 18. Sounds pretty good, actually. It doesn't sound super small. Negative 1 to negative 18 now. It's starting to get kind of a low tone. Still in there. There's not anything on top of it, nope. It does sound pretty darn good. 
still in there. All right, should be out. Uh, I think I see maybe some lead right there. Maybe it's copper. Yeah, I think it's actually a little, little tiny piece of copper. something weird I think it's lead but get an eyeball oh I know what it is <laughs> it's a fishing lure head it did have an eyeball they're always watching me always watching me I just had to do a battery swap uh, as usual I am using my Equinox 900 um, with my cool green snake skin that Jim gave me I'm using my Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones which I love and I'm also using my CKG titanium scoop, which I also love. Um, definitely been a lucky scoop for me, so I'm gonna keep using that. I do think the next thing I wanna do is try the pro scoop because I really kind of think uh, that, uh, you know, that's a, that's a real good product for this stuff out here because there's so many small targets. So I'm definitely gonna try that next time um, I get a little cash. I'll, uh, Order, order from CKG. <laughs> All right. You guys are interested in CKG, definitely look in the description. There is a link to their, uh, to their uh, website and uh, definitely order some CKG because it's great product and they're a great company and they stand by all their products. I think I have a dime in here, pretty sure. But there was a low tone next to that hole too. So, yep, there is a dime. Uh, greenish dime. All right, I have a mid-tone here, and quite frankly, it says 25 on the VDI, and that could be my nickel, maybe. And now it sounds horrible. Yeah, it sounds like a nickel. Well, it sounds, I don't know, it sounds kind of weird. Well, what is that? It's not a nickel. Maybe aluminum? Yeah, I think that's just a chunk of aluminum. Might have been a pull tab at one time or something. I think it might actually. I think I see it's a folded pull tab is what I think that is. I just did so much work for this tiny little fishing weight. Man, I got a... Maybe an eight? Boy, if it is, that would be awesome. I'm hoping it's deep, not shallow. Still down there. I like that it's not the first scoop. It's still down here. I'm sure it's not on the side. It's still down here. It still sounds pretty good. It's jumping around from a negative 12 to a 10. That 10 would be obviously a sweet spot for a Sounds amazing. Uh, did I see something? What is that? Stainless steel, maybe? 
Uh, I think it's another stainless steel nut. Got a negative one. Very irony sounding, but I'm not getting any kind of a high tone off the end of it. So, sounds pretty darn good. Now it's a negative 16. Negative one again. Does sound good though. Okay, maybe in the scoop. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I think, uh, big, giant copper screw. And I mean massive, like a full lag bolt. Look at that thing. That's big copper. I'm going to go down and see how Brad and Dave are doing. Well, I had a pretty solid high tone down here, and I think I see a big piece of copper. When I say big, I mean big piece of copper. Oh my goodness, what is that? Is that a pipe? Huh, what is that? Is that a spike? It's got a head to it. Look at that thing. That is crazy. Have you ever found a copper nail? Uh, that's a big one. <laughs> big copper nail. That's sweet. <laughs> that's a relic right there. Yeah, that's the biggest copper nail I've ever found. That is wild. Oh, actually, you know what? It was a bolt. You can see the threads on the very end of it. if I can get this bad boy in my pouch. It's so big. Well, here's what we're looking at. Really pretty day. We got Dave down there. And uh, it just doesn't get, it does not get any prettier. I, it just, I don't know. I'm always, it's one of those things where you look around and go, wow, it is pretty. And, uh, and then the next day you go, oh, it's even prettier. So storm has passed. You can see the edge of Catalina out there. Right up there is what they call the Isthmus, and that's where Catalina comes into a little bit of a crag, and there's, they also call it uh, Twin Harbors. And there are actually, you know, harbors on the backside, on the windward side, and on uh, the backside of it, or on our side of it, excuse me. Uh, and what's kind of cool is you can literally walk across from one side to the other because it's only about, I don't know, maybe half mile wide. So pretty neat. I've camped there before. Need to go do it again. Right, this is possibly the best signal I've had all day. It's a, a 20, but it sounds amazing. 25 now. Now, it easily could be aluminum or something else, but it should be out. But man, it sounds good. Oh, I think I see a big piece of lead. Well, not big, but a piece of lead. Oh, it's two little uh, split shot weights. Ah. And I think I kind of, kind of think this is going to be a coin. It's got a little bit of high tone, or I mean a little bit of iron grunt, but it just feels like. Yeah, I think there's iron still down the hole. And I think it's a dime. I have not found too many coins today, so we'll take that. I think there's a dime in here. Yep, there it is, a little dime. Got a good sounding one here. Negative 17 to start with. Oh, just got a 27 out of it. Maybe my nickel? 
maybe. Oh, it sounds like a nickel. Hey, there it is. That has been a long time coming. It's a nickel, which means I have the cycle. Finally, I only have, I think, six or seven coins total, so not bad. I finally got the cycle in six or seven coins. All right, should be a dime in the scoop, maybe a copper penny, actually, but one of those two things. And it is a dime. I see a pair of sunglasses laying out here. Right there under the water. There you go. Huh. They're actually pretty complete. I don't know if they're any good brand or anything, but they're, uh, they're definitely 100%. All right, look what Jim found. It's a little gold ring, but he's got a little, looks like a ruby in the middle and maybe a five diamonds on the outside. A very pretty flower. Nice job. There's another piece in here somewhere. Oh, he's got more gold. That's how he is. There you oh, go. there it is right there, yep. And a little piece of 10 carat something. Um, probably part of a pendant, but you can see the, the gold right yeah, there. Yeah, you can definitely see it, probably 10K. But once you, once you drop that in CLR, it'll be all gold. Nice job, buddy. Come on, be a big one. Be good. He got a good signal right here. Did you hear that through my... Uh, I didn't, but... Uh, that's like a solid 19. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Come on. Oh, I saw it. No, I saw it. I saw it right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Buddy. There it is. Right there. Right there. I saw it. Oh, it's a lunker. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's a lunker. Whoa. Whoa. That's... Gorgeous. Yeah. That oh my gorgeous. gosh. Right where <laughs> right we're talking about. We were about just it. talking about that crab. Alright, got a little piece of green sea glass. I got a great sounding 22 right here. Maybe a pull tab or something. Still down there though. Maybe out. Sounds pretty good. I'm not seeing anything now. Oh, I think it's a stainless steel bolt. Yeah, that's what that is, stainless steel bolt. Well, nothing else. There's great sea glass out here. Jim just got another piece of gold. Here, hold this way. Oh, look at that. Jade earring. Beautiful. Oh, don't step there. Oh, that's pretty. This, this uh, noise was in the same hole. So you maybe got both? Yeah, that's definitely gold. It comes out looking like that. Oh, my camera's dead. There. Hold on. I don't see it. Oh, that's what it was. Screw. In the same yeah, that's hole. pretty. It looks like really high carat gold, too. Hold on, it looks like it's 18. That's a four on that one. It's really, it looks with, like a high carrot. With that screw in the same hole. It looks like a high carrot though. It's nice and real yellowy. Dang, Jim, that is really pretty. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be mind blown if that's not at least 18 carat, probably even better. Yeah, it sure looks that. It's just that yellow, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, it's, it's a high carrot for sure. Plus, Jade always seems like it's on, on high carrot. I haven't carrot. even taken a look at it yet. 
There yeah, it is. That's, that's a beauty. Here, bring, bring your hand over here. Okay, perfect. There you go. All right, All right. Jim's back so and running. I just dug this as well, and there was a screw in the hole as well. Oh, damn, that's an earring, huh? Yeah. That thing is going to be high carrot for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's high carrot. Oh, you're carrot. killing me. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right. I survived because I had gold in my hand. Well, that would that's that's Look pretty at gold. That stone, that's uh, beautiful. That's got to be jade. <laughs> that that is, is, yeah, that stone looks like it's jade. I think it's real nice jade, Jim. And look how yellow it is. That's going to be. That's got to be eighteen. Eighteen or twenty-two. At least, not more. No marking. Well, it's not like I could see it. No, I know. I think it'd be on the flat spot of that round thing, maybe. No, on that guy, right? Maybe here. That's what I was looking for. Nothing. Heck, if I could see, I could just see. Uh, Boy, that is amazing. Gold. <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is some All pretty right. stuff. Let's Very see nice. what Ted got. Very nice. Very nice. Ted got oh, gold. Oh, I was gonna, I usually, I find it the first two Very minutes. Nice. So yeah, you usually do find it the first two minutes. <laughs> well, he's the only one that's found it the most. Well, he did that one. Yeah, mine doesn't really count comparatively. So he's found three or four. I, I think it's a rose. I got screwed. Yep. He's he's at three. Three, no, four. Yeah. Four. He's doing good. He, he found them all in here. Or? Right, mostly yeah. here. I figured that was a hot spot. Wow, that's pretty. That might that be looks 18. Like too. Good job, buddy. Oh, that one's a car key. Free Toyota. All right, I see something. Seven, eight. I'm kind of thinking that's a ring. It might be a stainless steel washer, but it kind of looks like a ring. Come on, be a ring. Come on. Hopefully it's not, ah, oh, I think it's gonna be stainless steel ring. It is. Ah, psych. <laughs> well, I guess a ring is a ring is a ring. There you go, ringing the bowl, ringing the uh, pouch. There's a really pretty piece of sea glass right there. Look at that thing. I barely now getting slightly audible low tone. Kind of inclined to think iron, but I just feel like I gotta dig it for the sheer sake of digging it. It's definitely in here. 10 11, which is a great signal. Uh, what is a uh, big stainless steel bolt? <laughs> That's what that was. Big stainless steel bolt. Wow, really cool shell. Check this out. It's really pretty. I like it. All right, I think I see something. It's small, but I'm pretty sure I see something small and goldy. I do. All right. That's another one. Nice. It's small. Big Mike. Oh, look at that. Another tiny one. Tiny. You know what? Dave and I, neither of us can find anything. Ted just got another one, too. Oh, good for you guys. I'm, I'm pleased. I, I mean, it's a tiny little 10 I carat. Can, probably 10K. Yeah, yeah it's it tiny, but shit. I've got every low tone I can find. I have to eat, though. I'm starving, man. Yeah. I have to. Well, congrats to the both of you. Yeah. It ain't much, but I'll take it. Well, I just got a dime out of here. I went and had lunch. My buddy, uh, my buddy Mike's over there. Give you a little scenic view. Got people out boating and cruising around. Super low tide. The lifeguard up there. My buddy Mike's got a one. I like a one. Come on. A two, three, one, Ooh, two, three. Ooh, even better. I like it when they grow. One, two, three. Ready? 
Yep. Come on, one, two, three. Let's give him something good. Give Mikey the gold. Still sounding good? Okay, got it in the scoop. 800 or 900? 800. Ooh, that's a good number then. Still a two. I like a two. Come on. Okay, got it. Come on. Come on. I think it fell through. Yeah, I forgot my pinpointer in the truck. What should I do? <laughs> you got one? I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure I own one. Come on. A little, just a little gold earring. Not asking for much. Hi. Are you guys yeah, looking for treasure. Oh, really? Did you find anything? I found a couple gold rings today. Oh, really? That was so cool. Yeah. Can I go back to right. this? Here, here. he found this yesterday. It doesn't look like what it is. But it. Is it? Is that bad? Oh, God, but this is gold, right? Yeah. Wow. Look, I shined it up on the back side. Oh, that is so cool. Right? Good luck, guys, today. Have a good one. All right, we're walking away. Yep. Well, that is a little silver earring with some uh, some bling on it. Pretty sure it's silver. I know it's not gold. Yeah, it's silver. A little piece of silver. Well, the sun is setting. Catalina Island's just at the tip of it right now. So like if you look right, right at the very tip of where that ship is, right where the sun is setting, it's right at the edge of Catalina Island. Super duper duper pretty. A negative 16. Sounds horrible. Ugh. I think I got it. Probably more copper the hell oh, I think that's a little tiny gold ring you got to be kidding me that sounded awful oh that's weird it's actually I wonder if it's a junk ring maybe maybe it's not gold <laughs> maybe it's boy I can't I don't know huh I mean it sure looks like gold boy that is see what it yeah, I mean, it sure acts like gold. I think that's a little gold ring. Very light one. But I do believe that was maybe a gold toe ring. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, there you go. I think that might be, maybe, I don't know. I'll have to look at it when I get home and test it, but that might be a gold ring. So, we're going to put it in our uh, in our good finds category it's got a fishing weight out of that hole an old one too I'm pretty sure I just got a little class ring it's too dark to see anything but I'm pretty certain that that's what that is oh, yeah. oh maybe not maybe it's Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's, I don't know what the hell that is. It's a cool one for sure. It's trippy looking. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here, let you listen to it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, look at the. Um... Oh yeah, there's your little X, there's your little X, E, Y's hanging out together. That's a that's a legit one. Yeah, I thought it was a little class ring, but it's oh, it's because it's a um, it's got the uh, the split in the band, but uh, that's why it was a little bit kind of funky. But I think that's real, real deal. 
It's in the. It's right yeah, let's there. Let's see. The range. Bring your light back, will you? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's shining up. Now. Oh yeah, look at that. And why the hell would you have? Unless it broke, maybe. Yeah, probably out here in the elements. In the elementos. Oh, maybe it was sized. Oh, yeah. I bet it was sized and then uh, cracked right there. Cause that's not yeah, like a. Yeah. All right. There you go. Is that good? All right. You guys ready for it? Look at that. Look at Catalina in all her glory. Santa Catalina Island. It was a great song. Santa Catalina is so waiting for me. Da, 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 da. Something about you can get out there with any old thing that'll float. Theoretically, roughly, give or take, 25, 30 miles out there. All right, here's the wrap up. Did get, uh, we'll start with the trash. I took some of that trash off the beach. These Swisher Sweep um, wrappers sound really good if they're deep. Uh, I don't know that that one was. I don't even remember finding it. I might have found it up on the dry. Uh, quite a few plastic bottle caps, as usual. A couple tent stakes. A uh, little spike right here. Um, did get a really old bottle cap. And uh, I thought I had a couple more bobby pins than that. But, you know, basic basic trash. Then getting into the decent stuff, I did get uh, some fishing weights, some small ones. I got this one large one. Definitely been out there a long time. You know, we call it getting milky when they turn white like this, which means they've been out there a long time, which is good because that means you're in with some old targets. Um, I did get uh, a lot of uh, copper. Got a pretty big lag bolt. Um, got this 22 live round. Always blows my mind when you find live rounds of ammunition. Got this. Really interesting. If you look at it, it's it definitely was made um, cast in some kind of strange... Almost looks like some sort of weird jewelry or something. I don't know. It's it's interesting. A um, couple of car keys or one car key, and I'm not sure what that key went to. Uh, some stainless steel, including this beast of an old stainless steel bolt. Um, I did get a lot of great looking sea glass. I mean, these two pieces are amazing. I actually had a blue. I thought this was blue sea glass, but it turns out it's just plastic. But yeah, some great sea glass for sure. I also got... This massive, and you can tell it actually has threads right there. But this was some huge, I had to go on a ship or something. Um, and that is copper, big giant copper bolt. Uh, as far as the coins go, I did get one quarter. I got six dimes. I got two nickels. And I got a total of three pennies. One is copper. I haven't been able to check and see if it's a wheat back or not. And two unspendable zinc pennies. Now let's talk about the good stuff. So the first one is this one. And when it came out of the hole, it was you know kind of dark and, and uh, I couldn't really tell. And I thought it was a gold ring. It rang up like a gold ring. Uh, it did prove to be a um, brass um, ring, not a, not a gold ring. Kind of see how it you know, looked a little bit goldy on the beach for sure. This one, which I also thought might be a gold class ring, is also a brass ring. Um, it it did look like a, a class ring, but it's actually some sort of a, I don't know, decorative ring. Um, I don't know what exactly, you know, maybe Indian or something like that. And then I got this, which is a stainless steel ring. And then I got this silver earring. And I got this silver earring with some bling. Um, and then I got this oh well we'll go with this one this is actually the last one i found um it does have some tiny diamond chips it is 10 karat gold um but uh yeah little tiny tiny gold ring and then i got this little tiny gold ring um which is actually 14 karat i thought it was going to be 10 karat but it actually is a 14 karat ring and so total i got five rings so not a bad not a bad little haul and two pieces of silver to boot. Jim got a ton of gold. Uh, Ted got quite a bit of gold. Um, but yeah, it was a blast out there. And man, what a sunset for sure. If you're interested in CKG products, there is a link uh, in the description of this video. Also in that same description of the video, you can go to Tony Eisenhower 
uh, his emails there and you can buy his waterproof headphones, which I highly, highly recommend. Um, my buddy Brad's awesome using them and loving them. And I think Jim's got a pair as well. And then um, if you're also interested in gold pull tab uh, scoops, I use, uh, use that as well. And um, that is also in the description of this video. All right, a lot of people have been asking how to get Pirate Mike shirts. I used to try to ship them out directly. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, my printer hated that I was only ordering a few at a time. Um, super expensive. Didn't make a lot of sense. So if you guys are interested, just go in the description. There is a link directly to Spring, um, and you can order all sorts of shirts and stickers and all sorts of good stuff. So, again, if you did want Pirate Mike merchandise, that is how you do it. So again, just go in the description. If you have any questions on how to find it, I can also send that to you. If you just comment, can't find it, I will send that to you as well. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching. For subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Sure, love it if you guys would subscribe. You can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos.